With so many albums and even many more songs, the timeline of what happens in the Gizverse can be hard to pin down with absolute certainty, but thankfully there is enough to provide a general overview of how everything is chronologically connected, starting with Infest the Rat's Nest. Here we get an image of a dying Earth with a grim realisation that there is no planet B, even though there have been a few privileged enough to leave it by settling down on Mars, with the rest either left to be experimented on by organ farmers or choosing to brave the dark void of space, which is where we join the two groups of travellers on their journey to Venus, each appropriately titled Venetian 1 and Venetian 2. Unfortunately, instead of reaching their destination, the first group instead collide with the sun in Perihelion, which describes getting hit by an unexpected solar flare, whereas the second group, who probably had Lady Luck on their side, managed to reach Venus unharmed. That is until they decide to commit suicide and self-immolate on the surface of Venus in order for them to reach the doorway to help. As you do. More on this quest is revealed with the album Polygon Dwellerland, which also talks about a group of travellers searching for enlightenment in some mystical place which can only be found by following where the river runs, and might cause you to drift in and out of sleep along the way. A place only known as, you guessed it, Polygon Dwonderland. That's Polygon Dwonderland, not Polygon Dwonderland. I mean, who would make that silly mistake? Events in this album likely take place in parallel with Infest the Rat's Nest, but go beyond it as we follow the journey of the reticent raconteur, who searches for the power of tetrachromacy or the ability to see the fourth cone of colour, who at the end of the album is also revealed to be the cyborg known as Hantayumi, a clever anagram of the word humanity, and who may or may not be one of the most important figures in this universe. Wink wink. Hantemi takes a look at the rest of humanity and doesn't like what he sees. But can you really blame him? The world is falling apart with crumbling castles, people are revolting against being trapped in their inner selves by powerful captors who study horology and who can shoot lightning out of their fingers, all the while the rich continue to live high and mighty in their castles in the air. Or as Phil Collins would say, just another day in paradise. So while fishing for fishies, Hantemi stumbles upon another character known as Boogeyman Sam, and of course, decides to turn him into a cyborg to quote unquote, cure him of his human condition. As you do. Unfortunately, this doesn't go how Hantumi plans, as this new creature, Cyborgy, still feels depressed and hates what he's become. Much sadness follows. But this doesn't stop Hell from being unleashed, as now the knowledge of tetrachromacy, or a hint at the knowledge of how to become a cyborg and obtain immortality, has corrupted the world, and the door from Hell that we saw earlier is opened through Nonagon Infinity, maybe also occurring in parallel when Hantumi first learned of tetrachromacy and searched for the fourth colour. However, instead of prosperity, things get even worse than before, as the opening of Pandora's box creates further destruction of the Earth, and we get images of the aftermath from this apocalypse, with wonderful things such as doomed cities, nuclear fusion, and melting, but also flying microtonal bananas and one dead Zanzibar plant. Rest in peace. All of this eventually leads humankind to an age known as Digital Black, where the rest of the people that are left have decided to convert themselves to their cybernetic counterparts, just so that they can survive all of this doom and gloom. Fun times are surely ahead. But this is no longer what Hantemi wants, as instead, he craves the need to return to his human form. So what do you do if you want to take backsies and you're a machine that wants to feel human again? Well, you create a soy protein mump machine, of course. And who best to volunteer for such a lovely surgery, other than poor old boogeyman Sam, who likely falls into Hantemi's trap. Ultimately merging with Hantemi in hopefully a non-sexual process, that upgrades Hantemi to become something even bigger than a cyborg. A new god. Who now wants nothing else to do with this universe, except of course, murder it and start afresh. As you do. Bringing us to the end with sketches of Brunswick East that give us tiny fragments of what is left of this new, quote unquote, better world, with Hantumi in control as humankind's new ruler, and us waiting on a countdown for his judgement day. Thus, we've gone from a dying earth, to the search for somewhere better, to the revelation of something worse, and then the return to death once more. The cycle of Nonagon Infinity is now complete.